I think with the transition from film to digital cameras, we're probably taking 10 to, if not 100 times the photos that we used to, especially if you have kids. Many of us are, are just keeping them on our computer zone. The best way, though, to share those memories is to print them out. And we're going to have a look at some uh, little portable photo printers. We've got uh, Natalia Case from HP. Thanks for coming on the show. You bet. Uh, I think a lot of us are familiar with these, these little guys now, but uh, they're evolving. They've got new features. You bet. They were brought out to give you the portable experience, meaning that you could take this to a party and print on the spot and share with your family and friends versus saying, um, email them later, because they do get trapped on your PC. But this year we've evolved them, as you mentioned, to add ease of use features. So touch screen with your finger, you could walk yourself through the printing process rather than having to worry about going from your PC to the printer. Well, that's kind of cool. I, I mean, the screens are obviously a lot larger mm -hmm. now. And the key thing is you don't have to have these hooked up to the computer. That's right. As I mentioned, you would basically take your memory card or a cable from PicBridge and uh, insert it in there. It would load your images and you would view them, edit them, remove simple things like red eye, crop the photo, add frames, and even change a photo from color to sepia to black and white. So a lot of options built in there. So all those uh, types of features you would have found in in photo software and your computer actually built right into the unit. So yeah. you can see like, I mean, there's all sorts of cool photos here with the frames and all these things are built right into the, the memory? With the PhotoSmart 626 and the H26, there's a lot of personalization effects built in that allow you to express yourself. So this is kind of fun things that the family can do together, adding a Halloween theme to a trip that you all went on, adding clip art, a little picture of a cake or there's balloons and flowers. There's a wide assortment of clip art you can add to these. And you've got an example here of a scrapbooking layout. So a it's lot of cool. It looks cool. So neat. And it's that whole thinking that enjoy your scrapbooking, but make it even easier. Take three images from a specific experience, plop it into the larger page, and still get creative with it. But now we're just giving you an easier option to print the images within that page. So I kind of get this one. It looks like the uh, the older style here, but Ooh. this is like a space pod here. What's it the, really is. What's the thinking behind this one? Well, you would have it on the kitchen counter and in the family room. It is a compact printer. It's smaller form factor, PC-free experience, and it also holds a ton of paper, 120 sheets of 4x6 or 5x7, and that's unique to HP that we print in both sizes because 5x7 is the frameable shot. Yeah, so this so is meant to be the workhorse. So and just this as is an meant, example uh, yeah, of the different a, media yeah, sizes. Bigger, bigger picture. But this, this almost looks like those little uh, photo developing machines. That's right, and that's really what touchscreen even reminds you of when you're at the mall and printing your photos, and that's what we know that consumers find easy, and bringing that into these types of home printers should be conducive to getting more prints out there and things that you can share with your family. So one question I, I get a lot is, uh, uh, you know, the cost of running these things. Mm -hmm. I can see uh, they, they take the little ink cartridges. That's right. Uh, how do you keep those costs down? Well, first off, each printer comes with an inkjet cartridge, and you can get about 130 photos from the actual cartridge that ships in the box. But what I always suggest to families is to purchase an HP Photo Value Pack because it gives you 120 sheets of photo paper and a cartridge, and it gets you to 33 cents a photo, which is super affordable, especially when you think about the convenience of printing at home versus driving to a photo kiosk, get them all. So definitely the most affordable way to go about it is to look for a photo value pack to get a paper and ink solution in one. Well, how often should you be upgrading a printer? You know with computers and laptops, it's every two or three years. Um, is the technology advancing that quickly in, in printers too? Especially from HP, like our technology and focus has always been on ink and coming up with formulations that give you longer fade resistance. So we're looking right now at 200 years in an album. 200 that, years. Exactly, that wow. you reassure that you're getting waterproof results, smudge resistant, and then that fade resistant for generations. You can share them much later and you won't be around. <laughs> well, I guess um, that's something important though when you're out uh, looking for new paper and stuff for that's your right. printer. And what about refilling these cartridges? Is that like a smart thing to do? I mean, you save a lot of money. I'm sure you would, but you don't get the same clarity and color consistency and such. There's a lot of cool tests. I think you can find them on the web where they've taken HP ink and shown black ink and then you drop a little bit of yellow or red on top. And with HP's formulations, those colors stand up on their own, i.e. if you shook the petri dish or whatever the dish was that was holding it, they wouldn't blend together. But if you look at refilled cartridges, there's not much technology in them and those colors would blend and that gives you murky colors and just a lot of inconsistencies. But then you wouldn't 
get that uh, uh, that long life as well, I guess. That's so. right. You wouldn't have HP's guarantee for the reliability, the waterproof, and the fade resistance for generations. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. If you're uh, printing a lot of photos, you want to have a look at these little portable ones. Great to keep in the kitchen or the family room or even to a party. Yeah.